Now, the Russian energy giant Gazprom says the delivery to Russia of a turbine crucial to its gas supply to Europe has been made, quote, impossible by the current sanctions. But the German Chancellor has blamed Moscow for not honouring its gas supply contracts and accused Vladimir Putin of blocking delivery of the turbine. Well, it comes as fears of gas shortages, even blackouts are growing in Germany as the country tries to prepare for a tough winter ahead. Jenny Hill has this report. He's holding Europe's feet to the fire. Vladimir Putin knows Germany relies on his energy, that its industry needs his gas. The aluminium they produce here flows down vital supply chains, cars, medical equipment, wind turbines. But no one can rule out shortages this winter. Honestly, if they cut energy, there is no real contingency plan. The only thing you can do is then to prioritize and to, let's say, allocate the capacity that you could still run to the most important markets where you think the damage to the society is the biggest, right? So you cut back on production? That's the only way. Russia blames technical problems and this German-maintained turbine for reducing its gas supply. The German chancellor isn't buying it. Olaf Scholz had promised to phase out coal and end nuclear power. He's having to rethink those pledges now. Germany's last three remaining nuclear power stations, he said, only provide electricity and only a small amount. Nevertheless, it could make sense to keep them going. It would be a huge political compromise. But one of those plants, Isar 2, produces 12% of Bavaria's electricity. It's due to be decommissioned at the end of the year. And in the nearby town of Landshut, they're painfully aware that Germany doesn't yet have enough gas stored for the winter. We're preparing for disaster management. Should the gas supply break down, energy-intensive industries would be the first to be taken off the supply grid, which would have catastrophic consequences for industry in our region. Secondly, we'd have to ensure places like hospitals and old people's homes are looked after. Vladimir Putin is casting a long shadow over the baking heat of a German summer. He may not yet have triggered the economic and political turmoil he'd no doubt like to unleash in the heart of Europe, but he is forcing governments, like Germany's, into difficult decisions and uncomfortable choices. And that's before you throw soaring energy bills into the mix. Europe faces a volatile winter, and its leaders a critical task to insulate Europe from Russian power. Jenny Hill, BBC News, Landshut in Bavaria.